Oh no, yeah, my mic is not working. It was muted. <laughs> What's the next song? Give me the next good song. Oh my god, a TGS trailer. Play the next song. Oh hey, my stream elements but is working. That's nice. Did I not? Oops. Wait, not that one. This one. Play a different song. Play... No, I don't want you to play Last Remnant. I want you to play... Uh, I thought that sounded different. Okay, that's Hollow Knight. Where is the Alliance and Live music? Did I add it? Did I not add it? Oh, there we go. Very quiet. Oh, whoops. It's very hard to get the music that I want. And also, there's a problem of each song having different volumes. Like, the battle themes are very loud. And this song is also really loud. I might as well just remove that song, honestly. I want Alliance Alive music. It sounds like it. Quite quiet. The whole soundtrack is pretty quiet. Oh wow, it's hurting a little. Is it because I'm talking? My tooth extracted area is sort of sort of sore. Not really, I mean it's it's a slight amount of pain, like not enough pain to be like eh. But enough pain to for you to notice it. But yeah, not enough pain for me to do anything about it. Uh, I'll close that. Okay, um... Man, I want to read more of this book. <laughs> hmm, this colloquial Japanese book is interesting. Um... Because it does not start... It starts with grammar, which honestly, that's a good bet. Considering I can learn the hiragana via flashcards and do or even Duolingo and focusing on the pronunciation and grammar construction is actually very useful because I don't think Duolingo is going to teach me that Yeah, this is... yeah, I'm definitely going to read this yeah, I'm learning Japanese. One could say I should be spending more time learning Japanese and playing Pocky 2, but haven't streamed in a while. So, yeah. I just like, I just want to be able to read Japanese, maybe even listen to Japanese, so that I stand a chance whenever I. Excuse me.
Sorry about that, I'm back. Did Pitchy show you the Saibaria shirt? No, he didn't. He has a Saibaria shirt? I didn't even know that was a thing. I mean, you, I mean, you told me it was a thing, but I didn't know he had one. <clears throat> Maybe I'll ask him about that later. Anyway, where was I? Oh yeah, I'm learning Japanese at the moment, yeah. Um, I want to be able to like, you know, look at anything that has Japanese language and make, make it possible for me to read it. Like, I, I should be able to at least read Japanese and listen to it. That's, that's my goal. I don't know if speaking it is a high priority, but I mean, that, come, that goes along with uh, learning the language anyway. I told him to send you that link when he streamed earlier. Oh really? I might have missed it in Discord to be honest. Uh, whatever. Uh, let's see. I do not want to become famous, thank you. I think I'm good on becoming famous. Uh, let's see. Do I, I, I don't even remember how to stream at this point. Oh my god, why did the soundtrack stop? Oh, because I hit it. Oh, well, I would explain it. Uh, so I recognize some hiragana characters. I, anyway, this, this shirt seems cool. It has a buzz system that allows you to power up your ship by grazing it on enemy bullets. Nice of the game, nice of the shirt to tell you how the game works on the shirt. That's a, yeah, okay, that's an okay shirt. I wouldn't want to wear it, but yeah, I guess that's cool. Anyway, yeah, I've only learned, also a good resource for learning JP. Uh, oh, no, oh, thank you. You cannot learn Japanese. What is this? The Japanese writing system, look at that. Hiragana, yeah, but only at my current level, I've only learned a couple of Hiragana characters. Um, that's that's my current level. I have I've got no idea about grammar or sentence construction or anything like that. Just Hiragana, <laughs> that's my level at the moment. Uh, oh, this is to practice reading. Okay, yeah, this this seems like a resource that fits my goals. And then kanji is gonna be like, it's gonna be my vocab, isn't it? Like hiragana is gonna be my like, how to pronounce stuff and how to set up grammar stuff, but kanji is gonna be my actual words, right? The actual words I have to learn. Kana is the easy part. Yeah, yeah. I I. I'm quite aware. Oh well, I don't. I haven't done anything with Katakana yet, but Hiragana is what I've done, what I've looked at at least. Yeah, grammatical parts and words which have no kanji form, or the writer chooses not to use the kanji for. Look at this. Look for the section about setting up Anki. Yes, I've I actually got Anki set up as well, so yeah, I have that ready. I have that ready to like practice my hiragana. I even I have I have even synced it up with my phone too, so I'm pretty good. Uh, I've set all that up. Kanji might be uh... hmm. Kanji is going to be hard because it's Kanji is going to be like referring to. Uh, a certain word I feel like, right? Represent parts of words or sometimes whole words. The problem is going to be me trying to remember some of these kanjis. Like hiragana is, is sort of like memorizing the letters, right? Memorizing the letters is simple enough. Um, but with kanji, it's like, I don't, I'm not seeing the pattern here. Like here, I can see like, I already recognize some of these uh, hiragana here. I think this is r, r, like r u, r. Uh, over here, I think this is m. I don't. That's hard to see though. Uh, 
That's E and Ni. I think this is Ni. See, I, I recognize some of the hiragana already. But the kanji it just looks like... I don't know. I, like, I have to know the kanji itself in order to even think about what the word means. Primarily, you want core 2k, 4k once you're familiar with kana. What is, what is that? 4k. What is this? Oh, this is an, an Anki uh, flashcard. What is it? it? Does it actually have 2000 kanji words? Is that why is that why it says 2k learning Japanese oh yeah I'm learning a bit of Japanese yeah at the moment I've only started with hiragana um, so very I'm a very beginner level you could say but yeah I'm learning Japanese not kanji just core vocab purely kanji okay not purely kanji right because some because hiragana can form up words by themselves as well, yeah. But yeah, kanji might be the grammar, the grammar part and the kanji part is going to be probably the most difficult part of reading Japanese. And also welcome to the stream, Sofa Sandbox. Uh, yeah, so this is a cool resource. I've also been using now, I don't know if I can show Uh, I'll show the book. I've been using this book. Oops. I've been using this book as well. Uh, I'm only at the beginning though. Um, Colloquial Japanese because I think we have, we actually have this book in our lo in my local library, I believe. Uh, so yeah i guess it's nice to have is it the same book though hold on it might not be the same book even yeah it's not it's not the same mm. is very confusing no it's not it doesn't seem to be the same book though hmm has audio files well that okay it's just the book i'm using and it seems okay it seems okay i'll maybe i have to research more about how good the book is later but that's that's where i'm at i'm like very beginner level of a uh, language of learning Japanese. I've also done a little bit of Duolingo of Japanese because it's free, right? Um, very slow, so I feel like I feel like I have more success if I use the Anki flashcards, to be honest. But yeah, that's that's just where I, where am I where I'm at. Same. I'm slowly starting to get back into Japanese studies myself. Oh yeah, that's yeah, that's cool. Kanji gets a bit easier once you can identify radicals in the characters. Mm, I don't even know what radicals are. <laughs> are they like accent tones? I don't know about accent tones. I studied a little Chinese in high school. I know about those, but I'm assuming those are very different. Although Kanji, there are Chinese loan words in uh, Japanese Kanji. So maybe it won't be that bad, but yeah, it's still going to be tough. Uh, anyway, uh, should I even talk about my tooth extraction? It honestly wasn't anything. Uh, so, but the, all the procedure was was like they filled the like they injected the the area around the mouth where the tooth is. Um. So, yeah, they, they just injected anesthetic around that area so that you don't feel anything during the operation, of course. Like, that's normal. And all they really did was, like, 
try to get it try to get the tooth that they're trying to extract moving like you know how sometimes when you like try to move your teeth it wiggles a bit they were trying to aim for that wiggle motion there and then they resort to like once they were able to do that they were actually able to like wiggle it out a bit more just keep on wiggling and then actually like fully pull out the tooth it was super surreal when they when they pulled out the tooth i was like wow i can't believe i don't feel anything right now that's how insane that felt like you felt the pressure but like pulling out the tooth felt it there was nothing it felt like nothing you just felt pressure the pressure was what was really scary i think but uh yeah afterwards it wasn't that bad like a couple of hours after the operation it was really like pretty painless i mean i took panamax because i did feel a little bit of pain and took panamax as like a uh as a preventative measure almost um but yeah really not much pain of course i had to wait for it to recover and i i was a little scared of like so the goal so they didn't stitch up the gums or anything they and for the recovery process they relied on me, uh, my blood clotting around that area in order to recover so i was uh, actually uh, i even though i could talk fairly well after the operation i didn't want to risk it so i just decided to not speak and that's why i didn't stream on a wednesday even though i technically could have because yeah i mean honestly the pain that the, there wasn't any pain basically but i didn't want to risk opening up the wound again so i didn't stream on wednesday and thursday yes yeah, almost the same case but again i had a static raid to go to so yeah i honestly pulling out the tooth was fine um i i'm still afraid of having my tongue touch that area um much more streamlined than my first than my last tooth extraction glad it went so well yeah it went really well I, surprisingly so i thought there'd, there'd be complications but no in fact well in fact there there could have been a complication one of the uh one of the dentists there actually informed me that the tooth was actually close to one of my sinuses and there was a potential where if they pulled out that tooth then they'd actually open up the sinus there because yeah the tooth is just like in the sinus area so the, so if that happens then they told me they had to like get the stitches out and actually stitch up stitch up the sinus there fortunately i didn't have to go through that so that was awesome i'm glad that my tooth wasn't that annoying enough that it wasn't embedded into my sinus so yeah it was really it's a really smooth uh, procedure all things considered um yeah yeah i think that's all i really wanted to say pretty painless procedure which i'm very fortunate of um anyway let's start pocky and rocky 2. uh where did i even have it saved Ah, oh, here um what you mean to say is that uh kanji are entirely traditional chinese characters i guess i do mean saying that i didn't i was like trying to be very vague because i didn't want to say for sure that was the case but what i've read of what kanji is is what they that's what they've said yeah but i wasn't entirely sure that's why i was being very vague <clears throat> but yeah um I guess the main challenge with me learning Japanese is trying to make myself stick with it. That would be like the hard part, wouldn't it? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to like work on Japanese daily. I'm trying to like at least, at least do like 20 minutes of it. Like just to start off, right? Like 20 minutes per day is nothing, by the way. That is a nothing amount of time. But just to get started, right? 
Why is my controller not? Oh, it's not even plugged in. Uh, I have to turn it off. I have to turn off the window. And then turn it on back again. I haven't watched all of that FGC stream yet. You don't have to. <laughs> I'm I'm glad you watched it anyway. I appreciate it. You did watch the Street Fighter segment, many GGs. Yeah, I Yeah, it was the the one where I fought against the Akuma was pretty funny because we were doing our own thing and whoever did their own thing the best won. It was really funny. Also that sick um I remember parrying his air fireball and then parried his uh, crouching medium kick. That was really awesome. And then I did that and I did that I did that parry into a full combo. That was awesome. About radicals, for example, speak tell has the rat that radical. Look at the left of the character. That's really oh yeah okay I okay Twitch. The font isn't helping there, but I yeah I I can see it, I can see it. It's. The font being squished up like that is very difficult to see by itself, but I can see it. So you know it's related to words in some way? Hmm, okay. Yeah, I, yeah, that makes sense. It's sort of the same with Chinese, even. So yeah, I guess, I guess in that sense it's easier to notice, I guess. Only Ken just plays solid. Uh, the only character I know how to play in that game is Ken, by the way. Again, it is Chinese. Okay, yeah. Again, yeah, it is It is Chinese. That's why I have to get through my head. It is Chinese. Alright. But yes, uh, in Third Strike, the only character I know how to play is Ken. I haven't learned any other character. <laughs> like, I'm, I've played the game for a long time and I only know one character. There's the Harvest Festival and Princess Luna is visiting from the moon for the festivities. Princess Luna, you said? The entire village, including Pocky and her friends, have also gathered in the festival square. This is all the advancing task uh, task up. Uh, uh, Princess Luna is making her appearance along with her rabbit escorters. This is all the advancing text, so I have to read through this quickly by the order of our master we are kidnapping i'm glad you're announcing this princess luna wait no space after the exclamation marks who are you who on earth are you i am impy and who are you are they supposed to be imps is that the localization we're going with I am Pocky. So you are Pocky. I am sure that we will meet again. All of a sudden, the, festi the festival square lights up. Princess Luna disappears. Pocky and her friend Rock... F oh, her friends <laughs> go and consult with the seven wise people. This is a very long intro cutscene. Considering this is an SNES non-RPG game. Uh, cooperate with many of your friends. Happy face. We will help- all of them have a happy face. We will help you too. Which one is happy face there? You can count on me! Thank you. We will rescue the princess. Is that all? Oh, it is all. And pretty much the same screen from the first Pocky and Rocky game. But in Pocky and Rocky 2, if you haven't realized from the title of that stage, they actually have a tutorial. There's a tutorial here. 
And why is there a black bar? I have a black bar in my window as well. Uh, I'm... Okay, I'm just gonna assume that's normal. Uh... It's just that the meanings usage aren't one-to-one -one with modern Chinese and is in fact a mess because kanji were imported into the language while China was constantly changing hands since one character can have many different pronunciations. Ah uh, yeah, I, I vaguely recall reading something about that, yeah. But yeah, I, okay. Being good with one character is better than sucking with every character like me. It, well, that's true, but the thing with learning multiple characters is that you know every character and what they're gonna do, right? You know what you know what they're gonna do that's the that's the purpose of learning multiple characters you're not gonna be good with them but if you learn those characters then you know how to play against them that's the that's how i feel about that and uh because of that i haven't learned specific matchups very well because i didn't learn the other characters so yeah um yeah I feel like like I, I have a general idea how to play each character, right? Because I know I have like general knowledge of how to play Third Strike, but in terms of like specific stuff, I'm very bad at, at them. Uh, can't have the main character with a name such as Sayo. The children will not understand. Nope. Of course not. Why would the American kids are too dumb to understand Japanese letters? Or no, not, not that they're too dumb, but um two what's see i'm thinking of uh the pokemon series where they change brock's line from what is clearly a rice bowl he's holding in his hands into a what is it a jam a jelly filled donut like he called it a donut when he was clearly holding a rice bowl and it's just one of those things where like are you so do you have so little faith in your children that that like is, is it even a matter of faith like why even make that change it's just like mind-boggling to think about nowadays as a child i did not believe for a second that was a jelly donut yeah like why? I'm trying to think about why would you even make that change? Did you think that children are so stupid they wouldn't know what a rice bowl is? Or are you just trying to like protect children from like other cultures? Are you trying to be racist in that way where you don't want the child to know what a rice bowl is? Like I don't understand. So it's just one of those things, localizations that just seems... That just makes you appreciate localizations nowadays. <laughs> Even if they're trying to be Mimi sometimes. I don't know. I don't like that black bar down at the bottom. And I don't know how to remove that. Do you need a lesson? I think I do actually. Yes. Good choice and good luck. I'm currently eating a durian uh, right now. And it is thinking up the room. I, I'm quite... I'm one of the... I do love eating durian, but I, but I can acknowledge that um, the smell can be quite overpowering. I have a feeling it's gonna stink up my room, but I don't mind because I like durian. At least four kids wasn't malicious. I like the modern climate. I yeah, I guess so. Wasn't malicious, just dumb. <laughs> they were just really stupid. Hmm. Recently found out that while can't read those, I pronounce the same way that I type differently. Yeah, I, that's the thing, right? Like whatever I whatever I read of Japanese, like learning the hiragana, even though it has all the characters and all the letters, like all the pronunciations, right? You can't just learn hiragana. Like it's not enough. Japanese like to use the same pronunciation for stuff that has the same meaning but written differently due to context, general meaning. Yeah, exactly. Hiragana does not have that context really. Um that's what I've that's what I know, so yeah. I've gotta like I've gotta like fast track uh fast track my Japanese learning to be honest, because I'm I'm very slow at the moment just learning hiragana. You must first practice moving around. 
it is important to move around skillfully. Pick up coins quickly. Use the control pad only and move on around horizontally, vertically, sideways anyway. Wait, what? Sideways anyway. Huh? You mean any space way you like? Yeah, you, I think you mean any space way you like. In any case, I am to walk around using the D-pad. I think this kind of tutorial is kind of funny for a person like me that's played a lot of shmups and knows how to play this kind of game. Wow, this is so difficult. I mean, this kind of tutorial is kind of nice. This is like a... You know what? This tutorial is way better than any fighting game tutorial ever. <laughs> Stop there. Excellent, Pocky. Because, you, because the tutorial in this game actually allows you to apply the concepts in a practical way. Whereas in fighting games, it's not super practical. Whenever they're teaching you. Like, they'll teach you the mechanic. They'll show you that it exists, but they do nothing else with it. Uh, like, uh, stop, cease, and something, resign, are both... Is that ya at the beginning? And then, is that ru at the end? I... I think ru, ru is at the end. Uh, I don't... I'm not very strong on the... Yeah, so, ya, yeah. The one in the middle I didn't recognize, but I could recognize ya and ru. Ya yeah, to a lesser extent, but Ru was a bit more obvious. But yeah, I don't... Yeah, <laughs> I definitely need to learn kanji at some point. You must have been practicing jogging. Alright. Interesting comment. What's the next tutorial? This is the card throwing practice. Pocky's not throwing cards though, isn't she throwing talismans? Both are pronounced... Uh, is that... Ki? Ki... Ten... Ki ten. But... Uh, something is typed out Ki ten, while something else is typed out Ni... Something... Ti ten? Ki ten. Oh, it's a G, okay, yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, it's... It's just something to learn. Context is important. When is the language of... When is another language where the context isn't important? Is there such a thing? Niseten is the second. Okay, yeah, okay. I didn't... yeah. So I got three out of the four syllables, right? That's... Hey, that's a... Uh, I guess that's a good... Uh, that's good progress, I guess. Card throwing pact again. Pocky doesn't throw cards, doesn't she? She th she throws talismans. Hit the enemies quickly. I am watching. Use the Y button for the magic cards. I I, I guess this is one of the rice bowl jelly donut changes. Like, what's the point of calling them cards? May as well call them talismans. Keep focusing on your target. The Y button. And he didn't even answer back. Buggy was like, what the hell is the Y button? What what are you talking about? But yep. The wise man just preferred to not say anything. Yep. Traditional Pocky gameplay. Hey, I learned from Pocky 1 how to play this game. That was a like a very fast way of learning how to play this kind of game. So I'm quite Oh my god, the slowdown! I'm quite good at this, I think. I hope so. <laughs> if I'm not good at this at this point. Type with it with different kana, but the resulted kanji is pronounced the same. That debacle also taught me a new word in my own language. Uh oh. What would that word be? Is it debacle? Or I don't know. But yeah. Yeah, Japanese will be tough. I I fully anticipate Japanese will be tough to learn. And I don't I don't- I never thought Japanese as an easy language to learn. 
but it's just something to learn. That's all. You are very skilled, Pocky. I believe you have nothing to fear. Sude... Sude... Uh, Sude... Pigafa? I don't even know how to say that word. This is the magic... Magic wand? Um, I mean... I just called it a stick in the first one, so I honestly... Still am a bit guilty of not knowing what it is. But... Uh, shrine stick. Let's see what the actual name is. Wooden wands. Okay, so I guess the name isn't that off. Japanese IMEs are suffering to use. IMEs. I don't even know what are IMEs. It's a work that's credited to someone who didn't write it. It's a work credited to someone who didn't write it. Huh. Like a biography. I'm thinking of a biography in that case, but the biography still has the author who wrote the biography of another person, right? Gohei? Yeah. It's called this. Gohei. Gohei? Gohei? I don't know. I need to work on my pronunciation, obviously. They're uh, called wooden wands, so I guess calling it a magic wand is fine, I guess. Falsely attributed works, as Wikipedia put it. Okay. Uh, oh, why? Why? You have to press Y to advance the text. Let's practice using the magic wand. Input method editor. Basically, you want to use... Basically, what you use to type languages without having the specialized keyboard for them. Ah, okay. Oh, really? So... Hmm. Is it like a software keyboard that Windows has? Is that what you mean? Or is it like a different program that you're using? But yeah, I can understand how that would be a problem without the specialized keyboard. Especially with a, what seems to be a very varied language like Japanese. Using using a sh essentially different letters for words sometimes. Like different, totally different letters from another language. The language bar thing. Oh yeah, um... See, was it Alt Shift? Yeah, Alt Shift. I could like change between different keyboards. At the moment, I only have it set up between English. But yeah, you still use your keyboard, just outputting in a different language. Yeah, yeah, I I understand. It's what I use to type in full width. In full width text. Oh. Oh, so there's like a okay. So there's a di there's like a different keyboard that you can software keyboard that you can have that you can just switch between and then you can type in that. I guess that'd be nice to have. This time you will use your wand to fight at close range. Don't drop your guard even when you get confident. The portraits are kind of cute. Use the B button to wave the magic wand near the enemy. Be careful not to get too close. I must keep some distance from the enemies, right? Oh, it's just the Japanese IME. Oh, that's a Japanese one, really? Okay, I thought it was like a different... Oh! Well, that was a bad start. <laughs> Can you just hold this? You can't just hold that. This music's kind of nice. You know, with... Um... I always thought the Sega Genesis sound chip... Oh wow, that hit behind me. In fact, let's, let's test this. That hit completely behind me. Okay. Animation is a lie, I guess. I lost full width after fiddling around with the hotkeys. Ah. Uh, okay, so I guess it's like a setting you have to enable. Yeah. Yeah. Um... What was I going to say? Oh yes, I appreciate the Genesis, Sega Genesis sound chip a lot more since uh, the Streets of Rage. Listening to the Streets of Rage music and also reading about the 
the synthesizers and the the work Yuzo Koshiro had to do to um, make this the music amazing. I now appreciate the Sega Genesis sound chip a lot more than the the Super Nintendo. Because with the Super Nintendo, it's like pre-sampled, like something like it doesn't give you a whole range of um, samples to work with. I think something like that. Um, and the Sega Genesis just has a bit more freedom, I've heard, or something like that. I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, you can type in Hiragana Pes F9, that works too, but I can type in either Hiragana or Katakana at will, so I'm okay with it. Um, I haven't exactly looked up what Katakana is. That's like, um, I know it's used for loan words, I, that's what I've read, but what exactly is Katakana used for? Used for loan words and emphasis. Uh, hold on. Mainly used for words imported from foreign languages. Katakana represents the same set of phonetic sounds as hiragana, except all the characters are different. The same phonetic sounds as hiragana. Since the foreign words must fit into this limited set, they undergo many radical changes. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Katakana is significantly tougher to master compared to hiragana because it's only used for certain words. You don't get nearly as much practice as you do with hiragana. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, I guess I can learn. I have to learn it, right? Foreign words. Katakana is hiragana for loan words. Uh, so... Kari rice? Something like that. Soseji? What about soseji? Is that katakana? For a uh, sausage? Is that an example? Is that a good, a a is that a good example? Oops. I don't even know how to speak English properly. Why am I learning Japanese? Is that a good example is what I want to say. There you go. You're done now. Great! You did... Why did you put a comma there? Great! You did a good job. Why did you put a... How did that get by? How did that... Did they... They had to at least proofread it, right? I feel like you would be able to catch that instantly, but... I guess not. Let's master how to use the partners. Try to move around without the partner touching the enemy. What? Take him as a partner. You know him well. He is Rocky the Raccoon. Thanks for telling me his name. The partner will follow you when you move with the control pad. So the partner will follow me. So I have to make him not get hit. Uh, oh my god, this is... What? This is impossible. Oh my god, this is... Basically, a prototype escort mission. Oh, yeah, okay. I can avoid these enemies just fine. Can you slide, actually? You can't slide. Okay, at least I got it. Thanks for the tip. <laughs> yeah, there you go. F9, I guess. Trash Panda, yeah. It doesn't even have the balls. The balls that Tanuki are known for. Good teamwork. Keep it up. No space between team and work. I'm not gonna like overanalyze the sentences here, but it's just funny to read all these. I'm just funny. It's just funny to be a grammar Nazi for a for a localization that didn't really care. Let's be honest. Maybe they did care. I don't know. 
Let's practice throwing the partners. Try throwing the partners vigorously. How am I going to do that? You are in good shape if you hit the enemies eight times. And this is the worst mechanic in co-op. Use the R button only for throwing your partner. Your partner will go in the direction you are heading. I understand. I'll show you why this is the worst mechanic in co-op. Imagine you're playing with your friend, right? You're having fun and then you chuck your partner. And they can't play for a few seconds. Just imagine that. They can't play for a few seconds because the first player decided to chuck you at the boss. What fun. Oh god. I looked away for a second and then I saw a sped shot coming after me. F6, F10 will convert to all the forms. Oh. Oh! That's okay. Cool. I mean, that mechan this mechanic of throwing the partner is fine in uh, single player. I, I don't know if you have a partner available in single player, actually. I don't remember. But in, in with two players, it's not fun. Time is almost up. Well done. You did an excellent job. Yeah, you can't slide anymore. I kind of missed the slide, even though it lacked iframes. Let's practice using magic and reversion. Oh, I... I remember this mechanic. Do it where indicated. One practice will comprise of using magic and reversion. Move around while avoiding the enemies. What's the button? A. To use magic and reverting from your partner. If you are touched by the enemy while using magic, you will have to start over. Uh, what is it? I don't exactly remember this mechanic. But I remember this being a thing. Magic. Is this just a bomb? I guess it is just a bomb. Oh, and then you swap between partners? I don't know. I don't think the game will explain sufficiently what this mechanic's for. Oh god. Okay. That's a good face. The ones that Pocky and Rocky are making? Yeah, it's pretty funny. Oh! Whoops. Great. That's what I get for not paying attention. Uh, the uh, Super Famicom SMT1 copy, the one without the manual. It should be in a couple of days. Oh, oh wait, I'll. Still playing the game, I forgot. The one uh the one without the manual. Uh what about it? The Super Famicom should be in a few days. Oh, is that what you mean? Not the SMT1 copy. Oh wait, no no no. Your your SMT1 without the manual just arrived and now you're waiting on the Super Famicom. The Super Fa Famicom, yep. I know how to say words. Get. Can I make it? I don't know if I can make it. Oh, I can. Good. Took you a minute, but you got there. Yeah, I, I was busy concentrating on this. I have an excuse. The results are... I expected that much from you. Be careful on your journey. Yeah, wow. Thank you for not explaining what that's useful for. We have taught you all we can. Now go forward. Believe in yourself and your friends. You mean one friend, because I'm only bringing one person with me. Oh, I guess so. Okay, I have multiple friends. Never mind. I want to be Pocky. Oh, you know what? Let's bring Rocky. I guess that's just choosing your partner, not choosing who you're going to play as. The lot of the three games... The lot of three games is in the country, maybe. I hope so. I hope it's at least there. At least in the country. So I don't know what the point of the magic reversion thing is. What is this? Oh, change partners. Whoops. Little ninja. I don't know why I would want to change partners. Oh, there's a lot of coins here. Uh-oh. You know what that means? Oh, wait, no. Oh, yeah, I remember. There's a 
This is a currency, actually. You actually pay in coins for a shop later. Uh, I guess I'll revert. Oh, wait. Oh god, it's the Nippon Goblins, whatever they're called in Pocky 1. Oh, this is the store. Yeah, I remember. It's terrible. The goblins have gone on a rampage. The left path is full of goblins. I recommend you go right. That's a goblin. Let's go left. Immediately not follow that person's advice. Oh god! That's a fireball. Uh, okay, can't do anything there. What? Oh god! Oh! Okay, good, at least I have that. I think I got a shield. Let me get the, the huge guy. I don't even know. Bomber Bob! Cool. Oh god! I guess I can use the magic thing now. Does this... Is this like an ultra bomb? Okay, now I'm the big guy going... I can't even use melee. What's the point of this? What is the point of this? I can't... I couldn't even use melee there. This is a much more relaxing experience than uh, Pocky and Rocky 1. Are you serious? Oh, I get lives or a lot of score? Um, this is a no-brainer. Wow. That was, I got an insane amount of score just by doing that. Super milk, yeah. My, my shmup brain has been activated now. I'm aiming for high scores. So can I like use magic here and then move that boulder? Is that what I can do? Oh! Oh, really? I can't even get it. Oh, there you go. Whoa! Okay, big, big talismans. What? Oh, I donated some co Everything is going on in this. I have no idea. The tracking site told the tracking site told me that it started in Narita, moved to Tokyo, had arrived in Alaska, then back to Narita. Now it's back in Tennessee. Back to Narita? That's strange. So I'm generally not sure anymore. Well, okay, let's. I guess since Tennessee is the new country there, from that list, I guess I guess it's safe to assume it's in the country. Kiki Kai Kai is a shmup, yeah, you're right. Uh, so for when you're in trouble, please pick whatever you need. This is a key. I would need keys. Yep. Thank you. Uh, give me more keys. Yep. Uh, what is this thing? When your clothes are damaged, these rabbit ears will enable you to receive one extra hit. This suit of armor will increase your protection by three levels. So can I wear the armor and the bunny hat? Yes! Okay, good. Uh, let's, get, let's get a couple of keys. And... Oh, I already have power. Okay, yeah. Yeah, get more keys. Clothing damage? Oh dear. Uh, yeah! It, Unfortunately, this is an SNES game, so we don't have to see anything too risk risque. I'm glad Natsume decided to put their logo in that uh, in that um, drop, the dropping the curtain scene there. Oh yeah, I have to gather up these coins actually. I have to make an effort to do that. I played Tamsoft games before. Holy giant projectiles. Yep. Oh, Tengi! I knew that you would come here. I am a famous walking dictionary. Ah, yes. Princess Luna is still safe. However, you have to hurry up. Shall I go with you? It would be much quicker if we flew. Yay. Unfortunately, I have Bomber Bob with me. 
Yeah, I need this guy to lift this boulder. Oh, I could have gotten a free bunny ear thing. Oh, oh, hey, I got a lot of score for that, so that was well worth it. Yeah, so far this game is so much easier, and I I appreciate that to be honest. Oh, that's stupid. Well, I don't need to change my party members now, really. I didn't realize this run turned into a high score run. I'll be honest. <laughs> cool. Pretty easy. Should I even bother unlocking these? Because I already have all the equipment I need. I mean, oh yeah, I guess it gives me score, so why not, I guess. Give me a lot of score. <laughs> uh, oh. This stew looks good. Oh my god, that's a skull. Ingredients? Ha 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 ha! The ingredients will be you. Gotta love implied cannibalism in our children's game. And I take offense to everything else. Except cannibalism. Cannibal. Great name. So, Bumba Bob. There you go. Can you deflect those knives? Yes, you can. Wow, this is so easy compared to Pokemon Rocky 1. And I just throw the guy again. The worst mechanic in co op. With good reason. Holy crap, that nearly hit me. Oh, how did I not get hit? Okay, I got hit there, for sure. Oh crap. No. Uh oh. Oh, there's a shadow. Bucky is in her undergarment, so I guess we still have that... I guess I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay. Well, I got hit a couple of times, so... It wasn't that easy. Okay, good. I also spent an hour smashing my head into my PC trying to emulate a game on a system I'd never heard of. What's the game? What's the matter? Ruff! <laughs> gobble gobble. What are you saying? Hey, where are you guys going? Ruff ruff. What are they doing? Sayo's theme has a remix in Groove Coaster and it's a banger. Really? It has a remix? Huh. Okay. Giten Megami Tensei. I found. That's how I found out about that word. Oh, I see. Yeah, I've not, I've not even heard of that game either. I guess I have the Ninja Girl. October Fields. How many lives can you have in this game, I wonder? I'll be very curious. Holy crap, those projectiles. I want to find out what the ninja girl does. Oh, it has a sword. Kinda bad, to be honest. <laughs> Let's have Tengi. What does he do? It's an old PC game. Originally released on PC-98. Oh, okay. That old, huh? Uh, oh, I, apparently I can fly. Oh, 
Okay. Ow! What's in here? Pocky, I have a favor to ask of you. Please rescue the princess. This is our donation to you. It's not much, but we hope it will help you on your way. Wow! Holy crap! Maybe to the next intermission? For the next intermission? Yeah, sure. Uh... Yeah. About an hour or so, maybe? I don't know. Oh! Whoa. Basically, the Mario 64... Um, what were those guys? Those stone slap enemies called? Swamps? Something like that. Is this a store? No. According to the story I heard, Princess Luna is being forced to get married. What? Then I must rescue the princess. It is if I were 40 years younger. Thwomp, yeah, yeah. I was... Like, isn't... Like, the, the one I was confused... I was confused there because there's like the block version where they like levitate in the air and if you get close to them, they slam down. But... I guess, what are those things called? Are they still called thwomps? Are they just all called thwomps? Because... They, they just are? I don't know. That's why I was a bit confused there. What? Okay, you can't do anything there. There you go. Uh, thwomps are spiky, womps are smooth from my understanding. Oh, I see. Ah, oh, yeah, okay. There's also womps. I forget which ones they are. Okay, yeah. It's, the names are... I hope you can understand how confusing those names are to me. Oh! Oh, nearly got shot there. So you can't, like throw a card. I guess she, in this in this game here, she doesn't seem to be throwing talisman. She's definitely throwing cards. You have to touch the present in order to open it, which is a bit different. Let's have Rocky! Oh, wait. I can get Rocky right now. I just have to shoot out my... this one? My magic wand. <laughs> it's funny, it's called a magic wand. I hate how that treasure chest is taking the the shots there. Uh, so Nint new Nintendo 2DS XL. Yep. <laughs> what? What's the point of that? Okay. I guess that's something you can do. Also, why did I lose my bunny ears? I lost my bunny ears. I just noticed. I don't see any reason why I lost them. Maybe it's just because I changed to a new stage? Did I start with flu full clothing, if that's the case? I hope so. Womps are the ones with arms and legs. Okay, then no those are the ones I was thinking of, of like Mario 64. That one area in Mario 64. Rocky's freaking pissed. Yeah, he he's banging, he's using belly drum for whatever reason. I don't have any keys? Wow. I guess the ninja would be able to open it. That would make sense to me. Nope. I don't know what opens that. Maybe Tenki? Well, I tried Tenki before and he didn't open the previous door. This game is still lacking a lock-on feature where you lock into a direction and then you can still move and shoot in that direction. Still lacking that, but uh, I wouldn't have expected them to really fix that kind of problem anyway, so... 
again it would be nice i mean i feel like games in this genre would incorporate that sort of thing nowadays but this is not nowadays Super uh, Mario 64's thumps are smooth, so that's probably what got me mixed up. Yeah, I think they imply to have cracks in the middle, like uh, yeah, like, like they're cracked in the middle, something like that. But the textures are so bad that it's kind of easy to to like see that they're smooth. If you need help during the during your journey, take me along with you. I'm a master of using a sickle, and no one can beat me. I'm also handsome, and you won't regret bringing me along. Let's go together. I kind of already am at the moment, Scarecrow. Thanks to all your boasting there. Okay, we can try him out at least. Oh wait, not, not from that chest. Okay, wait. Okay, okay try him out. Scarecrow. Wow, this sucks. Are you kidding me? This- oh my god! I, that, that is actually really bad. I have no idea what that's even used for. And I lost my power-ups thanks to that. Oh, you have to be tangy to get that one for sure. Oh, this is a store. Okay. Okay, what is this? This is a, str a strategy book. This book is not sold at your local bo bookstore. These are sp these special clothes will increase your protection by one level. Okay, I need one of these. I need one of these. I need one of these. I don't think I need the bunny ears. I think. And I'll get a couple of keys. Okay, I guess I'll grab the bunny ears. Pocky and Rocky RPG? Oh, sort of. I feel like games on the SNES were trying to explore a non arcade way of making games, and I feel like this is the end result. I, Foxy's endurance is formidable. The magic cards alone will not be enough to defeat him. You must use the option bomber against Foxy. This is the way to defeat him. Use bombs! Oh, I never would have guessed. Never would have guessed I have to use bombs to do damage. That was a waste of 200. Okay, this is kind of hard to look at. Okay, like moving about in this field here was a bit... Like, I, it was easy to lose myself. Ah, damn it! Okay, I just have to remember I have the magic wand. Like the, I remember that uh, Mr. Mystical Ninja Goemon did the same thing where you can collect coins in order to use use them at stores. Uh, I guess it was just like a, a thing they did in this era. Okay, bunny ears. 5,000 score. And I've noticed that I'm not increasing my lives anymore. I have a maximum of 5, I guess. You came here to rescue Princess Luna, didn't you? Well, defeat me first. Foxy. Oh, fast. Use a bomb already. Oh, that was such a bad positioning. That was on me. Okay, you can't deflect those. I wish I had the slide. Oh. Having a slide would be very helpful there. 
There you go. Hey, Scarecrow seems like he has a pretty good bomb, at least when the, the thing hits, right? It's not useful there, but where I, when I used it. If we can get used already. Okay. Uh oh! I wish I had a slide, I wish I had a slide. What? Oh god! Ugh. Oh wow, it's hard to hit the boss, huh? There you go, easy. Who would have guessed using bombs would do more damage? I, I'm glad I had that advice. I'm glad I bought the strategy book in order to figure out how to use bombs. Anyway, we did it. We beat the game. That's Princess Luna, right? I am relieved that you are fine. Thank you. You have saved me. I am Luna. And who are you? I am Pocky. I knew that you would come here. Impy! I will take care of you later. Why not now? I am taking Princess Luna with me. Uh, wait! Okay, uh, I mean, I feel like at least this guy was able to move huge boulders, right? Seems the most useful in terms of unlocking stuff. Unlocking uh, items and etc. So I'll just have him forever. Although he does have a crappy bum. I guess that could be a problem. Uh oh, it's some cappers. Are they going to drag me under the water? Oh! Okay, at least my partner can take it. Okay. Wow, my partner took too, too much damage. I mean, that's totally fine. I want him to take too much damage. Any hit he takes could have been a hit for me, so that's good. I figured something would jump out of that well. Hey, I haven't even died once yet, so that's really cool. Oh, that's a giant peach! Oh, okay, no, I've got hit. Okay, this might be close. Oh, I thought I could farm that forever, like the last peach, but not quite. I could have died there. But that's okay. Oh, power. That's some good. Okay. Yeah, I'm. I am very happy that this game is much easier. <laughs> I'm making a lot more progress. I'm like, progress is so much faster in this game than it was in the first game. Greatly appreciate that. And it seems like there's like a lot of like things to discover in this game too, so... Not only is it easier, there's just like a lot... There's just like a lot more to explore too. Oh god. So they do respawn in the fashion. I guess if I had Tengi, I could have touched that treasure chest. Do those two treasure chests down there. Like I can just fly down there, but... Ah, whatever. Oh! I can touch him right now. Okay, good. I got big talisman. Got big cards.
Oh, there you go. I'm sure it will get back to kicking you in the teeth soon enough. Soon enough. Well, well, we'll see, I guess. Oh, I couldn't even see that. I just want to point out how bad the screen score was there. Wait, hold on. Just watch this, right? It was like right here, right? Look at how close I am to the bottom of the screen. And you still have to pro scroll down to, to progress. That, that was really bad. It's almost the case here too, even. But not, not quite as bad. I guess going... What? Uh, well, I guess I missed out on that. That was a waste of a key, I guess. Oh, the game washed away away by the water. That's what's happening. Oh, that's annoying. Hope that doesn't become a problem. I sincerely hope not. Oh god! Oh. Oh, you're not saying the strategy guide, are you? you? Must have realized how trash that item is. No, 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 I'm not leaving. Yep, get that. Get this. Get more keys. I don't need more lives, for sure. No. So the maximum is just five lives, period? I feel like I would have gotten more by this point. Oh my god, that key! Oh wait, I can get it. I can't get it. But oh, there we go. Jeez, that's annoying. Uh, anything over here? No. Oh, they're fine. Give me some clothing. Nice. Is this a boss? Wow, boss time already. Oh, look at this epic anime fight. Look at that. I'm not even pressing anything. That was awesome. What a great opponent. It's been a while since I've been wanting to fight like this. I think that you are a greater challenge than Captain Peach. Captain Peach? That's not a great name. Hey, don't look away. Let's fight. So I don't have my partner. That was a pretty cool cutscene. Oh god! Ah, oh, didn't even see that. Oh, run, run. Oh! Oh crap. Okay, using melee does not work against this boss like the cutscene implied. I think this is going to be where my first death is going to be. Wait. Where's my bomb? Oh, come on. She's going to do the three wave attack thing. Oh my god! Uh, well, missed the bomb. Oh, I do have a time limit, I'm noticing. Hey, this is a good angle. Okay, not anymore. I got hit. Okay, bunny ears are gone. Okay, good. Oh! Oh, I did it! Whew. Just parry them. Oh, what? Oh, that was a that was scripted. <laughs> I, was, I looked away for a second and then I, I saw Pocky get hit and I got really scared. Top 10 shonen fights in anime history. I mean, you know what? I actually did like that fight a lot. You had to like move around a lot and like Positions yourself in a way where you won't get hit. It's like it's a lot harder to do that because you can't lock on into a direction. 
So yeah, that was a fun fight. Just parry them. Oh yeah, I, could, I, don't, I don't know. I'm not very used to deflecting them with my melee for some reason. You got me. You are strong. I'm very busy serving my master. And I have to go now if you want to take a shortcut. Although, huh? I don't think that followed very well. Why can I follow you now? Hey, is this going to be a 1cc run of this game? That's going to be cool. If, that, if I can accomplish that. It sure is horribly stinted dialogue, yeah. <laughs> really is. I get what can you expect from this era, I guess. Captain Peach? Who are you? Oh, like Momotaro? I am Pocky. Is this like Momotaro? I think it is, actually. I am happy that all of you are safe. That's good. Pocky. Oh, it is like Momotaro. How can I ever thank you enough? As you know, the villains are the Onis, right? I think that's like a story beat in Momotaro. Princess Luna has been kidnapped. She has been taken to the to Demon's Castle. What do you mean by CC? Uh, credit clear. Uh, wait, hold on. What? You should go see Gordon the Dragon. Let me finish reading this first because it's auto advancing. Go through the corridor from here. Is it like credits from the arcades? Yeah. Yeah. So one co one continue clears, one credit clears. Basically, uh, a, a run where you just put one coin in and that's all you've got. Beating the game without continues. Yeah. And it like lives do not count. Like you can use up all your lives, but it doesn't matter if you finish the game. Uh, that's what that means. I mean, there's of course no death runs. That's that's a different category, of course. I s also, I see you 1cc refrain. Uh, yeah, I 1cc normal mode. Normal mode was easy, though. I mean, it wasn't... Okay, the final boss wasn't that easy, mind you. But normal. I felt like normal mode was not... Uh, not the true experience, if you see what I mean. So now I'm working on advanced. Pocky, you should ride on me. This corridor is one way. I mean... Uh, I guess I can talk about it a little bit. I, I, can, I can take a break. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take a break. Uh, where is... Yeah. So yeah, I am playing... Trying to work through playing this game, Refrain, which is another shmup. Um, maybe I'll play on stream, I don't know. Um, but, uh, yeah, I beat normal mode without continues. And I beat normal mode with, um, the character called Muse, who has a, who has a weird normal attack, a normal shot, where you can actually adjust the lasers depending on how you move before you held, before you held the shot button, something like that. Uh, I actually beat normal modes for uh for her and now for advance i'm actually working on the melee person and miria which i think this is miria right here um the melee person is really tough because it's almost like playing a different game you have to like figure out an entirely different route it seems like so i'm having trouble with her but luckily i can just play a normal schmuck with uh miria the, the woman here T, yeah, T is the melee person. I've I've had a lot of trouble using her. It, she, she requires a different route, even. Refrains being lenient for survival, but scoring is tough. Yeah, that, I yeah I gathered that. Scoring was uh, I missed a lot of uh, kills for sure, and of obviously I couldn't get the hang of uh, skipping certain phases. I haven't gotten used to that yet. I do scoring runs on normal. Uh, Okay, yeah. Yeah, I just wanna like... When I play through the shmup, I just wanna like 1cc at once, I guess. I mean, Zero Ranger is a bit of an exception there, but... Um, yeah, I just wanna attempt to 1cc it, and advance is just what I'm working on. Anyway... Oh, I changed music right there. I meant to change back to BRBs here. 
to the BRB screen. All right, be right back. What's the music playing right now? Oh, last remnant. Okay, All right, be right back. Oh wait, before I do that, uh, all of a sudden, posted some music. It is four minutes. I mean, I can play that. Uh, hold on. There you go. I hit that and then do that. Do this. This is the song that all of a sudden listed. Supposed to be a remix of Sayo's theme. Sayo being Pocky here, I think. Very rhythm game music, I think. It's a bit loud, isn't it? Uh... Okay, I'll put it like that. Alright, be right back. back it's been like what three minutes still gonna take my break well the music went into strange directions i guess i didn't even listen to the most of the music i was supposed to be listening to it right yeah okay yeah cool song uh let's play back the This, this song kind of sounds like Final Fantasy Tactics, that music. I don't remember where it plays in the last remnant. Hmm. 
Oh, hey, it's the Alliance Alive music. <clears throat> I don't think the... I don't remember the soundtrack of Alliance Alive being, being uh, particularly amazing, but I, I liked it. I am currently eating, um, I guess it's vegan chicken, uh, I don't know. It's not like I'm, I'm not eating, I'm just trying it out basically, I, I guess it's alright. It is heavily coated in a sauce, so the flavor is alright I guess. But yeah, texture is a bit weird. I don't know if it is technically vegan chicken. It's not like it's not tofu. It has like the chewiness to it. But um, yeah, I like vegan chicken. Yeah, it's basically a different ingredient. Like you're not supposed to compare it with chicken. That's not the point. It's its own ingredient. I feel like some, um, is it called Goya? Oh, no. Okay, let's just call it the melon, I guess. Oops. I'm in some, I'm in some mood for this bitter melon. I kind of like eating this. Like, just sauteed on a pan with eggs. Like, it's, for some reason, I love it a lot. Like, having it. Making a dish that simple and being that good. Uh, oh, right here, bit of melon with eggs. A simple recipe that tastes really good. Well, acquired taste, I should say. But it's good. Vegan meat substitutes are pretty good for what they are. Yeah, I guess so. Just don't compare them with meat because they're not supposed to be... They're, they're just too different, right? It's still delicious. As I like some vegan burgers too. Vegan chicken comes closest to what's replicating from my experience. I never had a vegan burger um, before. It'd be nice to try. Doesn't Hungry Jacks have a vegan burger they're selling or something? I don't even know. But yeah, I haven't even tried one yet. Did we have Sayo's team? Had to step out briefly for dinner. Oh yeah, we did. Uh, <laughs> I did play it in the intermission a little. Like I played this. I did. I also did step out to get my food. So, not none of us listened to this song really. The Rebel Whopper. It's pretty good. Oh really? Yeah, I I I have to try it out at least once, right? Yeah. I played this song, the whole song in the intermission, but yeah, okay. I will run through it without, what's it, without stopping. Oh, now we're playing a shmup. Here we go, my specialty. Oh god, I missed the coins though. In terms of score, I'm doing real bad. Oh, you can't deflect those. 
Those are hard to avoid bullets, I'll be honest. Now we're playing a real schmuck. What are those things? Oh, you can't even kill them. Uh, oh, I got hit! Oh, I have uh, hearts there. What do you mean? You were always playing a shmup? Nah, this is now a real shmup. With, with this kind of perspective. I had some dishes with vegan chicken that had near exact taste and texture. Oh, really? I listened to the song, thank you very much, yeah. I just played it in the intermission. Uh, oh, I missed! Well... I can't believe I missed that. It just seems like my dog is moving so fast. Oh, how did I get hit? I wish I could deflect those too. What is that? Oh! Is this all there is to this boss? Do I even- I don't even have a bomb or magic. This is gonna take a while, isn't it? Wow, this is gonna take a long time. Oh, there you go. Oh, I got a life back. That easily, though? Oh god. What's he doing? What is he doing? Oh, he's dying, is what's happening. <laughs> the slowdown is pretty great. Give me that! Yes! Oh, great. Oh, please don't get hit. I feel like this this wavy pattern is the next power up in my weapon. That kind of sucks. I feel like I I prefer the straight shooter better. Did I get hit or not? What did the clothing do? Did it heal my HP? The slowdown is very real, very real. Oh, uh, now there's a oh I guess that was a mini boss. Groove Coaster is fun. Play Groove Coaster. Is that the rhythm game that the game that the song was uh, in? You can't get through here, Volta. I guess. I guess that is an appropriate name. Kind of easy so far. Hard to oh. Oh, he's- oh! I got really lucky and avoided that. Oh crap. Oh wow! How did I not get hit? What's he gonna do now? Oh my god, I got really lucky there, I'll be honest. Oh, what? I could not have anticipated that attack. There's no way I could have seen that coming beforehand. Oh, he's... Now he's camping at the bottom? He can do that. Oh, he's moving during that attack as well. That's the... Oh, there we go. Holy crap, those are so hard to avoid! Okay. At least I made it out with one hit. Ugh. Am I gonna die again? What?! 
That seems so hard to avoid. At least I got through it with uh, using up three lives, I guess. One CC is still is still in the still viable. It has become cold over a sudden. We will not be able to see the Gordon, be able to see Gordon the Dragon until we get through this valley. What's the matter? Don't you feel well? Oh, his name is Mad Dog. Pocky, I'm sorry, but traveling any further than this is too much for me. Thanks for taking me this far. Be careful and have a safe trip. How many stages are left? I wonder how long this game is. What the? Those women have thought. Okay, I have to like be very careful here. I lost one hit. Okay, getting a key is good. Uh, I guess I'll go right. I got my ultimate power up already. That's good. I guess if I were transformed into Tengi, I can grab that. I can. I would be able to traverse through. Oh, I can change into Tengi right now. Nice. Okay. I'm glad I got some bunny ears. Ah, uh, well, waste of a key, but that's fine. Maybe not so much of a waste because I do have. I only have three lives, and that's two away from getting the maximum maximum amount. So if I get enough score, oh, get enough score. I should be using the defect way more than I am. If I get enough score, I should be able to get back my lives. Isn't this is a surprise? Okay, let's find out. Oh, I got okay, I key in some new clothes. That was worth it. Totally worth it. <laughs> what? What did I get hit by? I didn't even see what hit me. What? Are you Pocky? I hear that you are trying to rescue Princess Luna. If I don't help you, I will lose face in front of my friends. I wasn't doing anything special, so I will go with you. Okay. 
I guess I... Uh, hopefully this will... Yes. Digger. What is this going to do? What? Why would I want this? What? I can still get hit there. That wasn't fair. And I could have survived not... I would have not lost that life where, if I didn't like uh, experiment with my partner there. Oh god! You can't deflect that. That's why I try to not deflect a lot of stuff, I think. Oh god! Oh what? Everything is- okay. A 1cc run is looking more and more unlikely now. God. I couldn't even see the UI elements at the top there. Alright. Oh, I pressed my melee button. Oh my god, now I'm saying like, trash. Maybe I shouldn't have taken that break. What? I didn't even see the rabbit there. Kind of want to keep Digger, I'll be honest. Hey, I'm pretty... I'm fully armored. That's good. I got a trash power up, but that's okay. What? Oh. Oh! Depending on your purpose, I might let you through the gate. But you will find it very hot on the other side. Oh, demon gate. Okay, I get it. How do I avoid that? What? Huh? Am I supposed to deflect that? I don't understand. You can't deflect that. Yeah, you can't deflect that. How are you supposed to avoid that? There's just a lot of attacks where I don't understand where to, how to avoid them. Well, first game over. Let me guess, no continues? Oh, there are. I'm glad they decided to still have continues. Alright. Let's play the game seriously now. Wow, that, those projectiles really do aim for you. You have to deflect them. I went right last time. Let's try going left. at the last second my melee button yeah they they do aim at a at an awkward angle sometimes so you have no choice but to deflect the shot sometimes Okay, good. Uh, I guess I can go to the store. Let's try the mystery box. 
A suit of armor, a pair of rabbit ears. Oh. I guess I was better off buying more keys. As soon as those ladies appear, I have to be ready to deflect immediately. Like there's no, ch there's no choice. I have to do that. Same thing, goes. Anyone in here? I will give you some secret keys. Oh, nice. This is Ho Ho's key, and this is Make Makai's key. Hey, you! Don't lie. You found those two keys on the path. I saw you. <laughs> I didn't know you saw me. So this is the boss that appeared on the top here and I can't deflect the, the snowflakes. There you go. I can do that. I can't even see the snowflakes! Are you kidding me? Why is that element above? At least I killed her in one shot. So does the Tanuki just always... Does Rocky just do a lot of damage no matter what? Well, never mind. But the digger now. Because I saw Rocky and Rocky once, uh, speed runs, And uh, they actually play as Rocky because his bomb is actually so much better than uh, Rocky's. And I was feeling a little bit miffed when I learned about that because... I, I used the bomb solely for DPS as well, and discovering that I could have used Rocky this whole time, who had a better bomb. Yeah, I, I was a bit miffed there. I heard that the dragon that lives up ahead is really big. The dragon is so big we can make a barbecue for an entire army out of him. Nice comparison, I guess. I want that. I want that chest. Yes, I want that. Gimme! Ugh, excuse me. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh god, what? Uh, well, I really can't see where I am underneath that bridge. Okay, good. I'm not sure if I want to swap characters, really. I, I want to stick with this more, I guess. Now I know who to target. The problem is how to avoid those shots. Like that. See, I don't understand. Oh, like that. Okay, there you go. What? Oh, the fist is... You can hit the fist as well. Nice slowdown, making that attack extremely easy to dodge. That attack is hard though. That came out really fast. So watch out for the fist, yep. Bomb. Damn. 
Okay, the pattern is simple enough. I mean... Oh, okay, yeah, I should anticipate the fist coming. Tons of damage. Oh, there you go. Perfect angle. Perfect angle. Get out of there! Okay, good. I love how the UI elements just disappear as well due to the sprite count rendering that the SNES has to do. Oh, what? Honestly, I didn't even see the spike over there. I was like paying attention on the boss too much. So there was a spike that got me somewhere, I don't know. A bit confusing. I keep forgetting about the fist. Why do I keep forgetting about it? I see what hit me. It's just like another set of spikes going diagonally. Makes sense. This. I wonder if I'm actually taking this fight really slowly. Wow, I can't believe this guy's still not dead. Okay, there you go. <laughs> That's a funny face. Well, I lost a life there. Then I lose two lives, actually. Not much pixel, yep. That's... Great job, Pocky. Gordon the Dragon is up ahead. Isn't... isn't he? Yes, but up ahead is a place which used to be called Demon Island. Demon Island? Demon Island? After I defeated the demon, it seems that the island itself moved to that place up ahead. There aren't many more demons left on the island, are there? No, but the island is covered with lava. Great, after snow, it's going to be lava. It's okay, I'm ready. Oh. I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad to hear that too, I guess. Good luck. If she said something snappy, then I would have believed that Pocky was actually Reimu. Uh, but nope, she just went some with something really lame. Because I feel like it's in Reimu's nature to complain a lot during her adventures. I just feel like that's just what she does. What? Can I deflect those? Can. Good. Ah! Oh, I can deflect that as well. Good. Everything's really scary right now. Give me those clothes. What? What the hell? Dr. Kabuki, you are Pocky, aren't you? Look at my great invention. It is Autobot, the almighty robot. I will lend them to you. Please use them to beat up all the bad guys. Good luck! Okay, all of a sudden there's like a super advanced robot in this universe.
Oh, okay, got that. Okay, what is going on? Okay, nothing's going on actually. Nothing is actually going on. Okay, just keep moving. Don't really mind using up the key there. Rabbit ears, that's good. I'll keep uh, Rocky here actually. This is like a melee only stage. Alright, good. Whew. Okay, let's give the strategy guide one more chance. When surrounded by his bees, the only way to escape is by sliding out of the space between the beads. You can also separate the beads by hitting BD in the body. Be careful for the explosion. That's that's sort of helpful, but I don't see how to like that. That advice is only helpful if you've seen the attack. So yeah, that, I don't know if that's very. I don't think that was worth it, to be honest. Oh my god, why did I take that hit? Oh, there's another store there that's locked behind some boulders. Oh, oh wow. No treasure. I only have my rabbit ears to protect me. No mercy for humans. I will never let you get away. Beady. Okay, so slide in between his beads or something like that? Uh, How did I avoid all those attacks? I don't even understand. Oh, please don't hit me. Oh. Slide in between the beads. You can hit BD while he's doing this. Maybe you can deflect some of these. Oh wait, he didn't do the... He didn't break his beads. Some good damage is going on thanks to that bomb. I knew Rocky would have an ultimate bomb. Okay. Wh what? How did I get hit then? I got hit by an explosion that was ages away from me? Move pretty bad now, I'll be honest. So don't hit him here. Otherwise, he's just gonna do his. He's just gonna throw them away. Yeah. Shit! Okay, oops. <sighs> I got tilted by me missing that bomb. Oh, there's a bomb down there. Okay, I, I understand how I got hit there, at least. Okay, at least I will still get him.
I mean, that wasn't easy. So yeah, this game is definitely getting harder. As it, as it should. You finally made it here. I have something to ask. I know, it's about Princess Luna, isn't it? Yes, it is. Where is she? She is imprisoned in the demon castle. How can I get there? The demon castle is floating on the sea. I will take you there. Let's leave right away. Why is the text scrolling really slow now? Every did you notice the scroll speed, like, reduced when uh, Pocky was saying something there? That was very weird. Oh, this does not seem like fun. Okay, it's just okay. It's just an auto scroller. It's it's normal. Oh, it's the same attacks. So now you can use melee, I noticed. God damn it! Probably so because there was less text? Yeah, probably. You can't deflect those. Ah, uh, I'm really bad at these shmup sections. Okay, good. I used melee in the last second and that really helped me not get hit. Oh god. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble avoiding those attacks. I guess it's like I'm having trouble figuring out where they start. I guess that's the thing. Can you deflect those? This is just a mini boss because he doesn't have a life bar I can see. You can't deflect those landing bolts. Come out really fast. Come out really fast. Okay. Okay. There you go. I was like wondering when this boss was gonna die. Now, Wing Tiger looks very similar to an enemy I faced in SMT1. I got none of the power ups even. Well, uh, looks very similar to an enemy I faced in SMT1. Should probably look into that. Hmm. What could it look like? I don't know. I, it wouldn't look like Cerberus. I would say. But Osei is like, not, it's not winged, so that's probably not what you're talking about. That's the second game over. Second game over. I don't understand where they start. Is like down below them safe actually? Yeah, it is. Like, directly below them is safe. God damn it! I 
missed like every power up, basically. I'm glad I got that one. I hate how you can't move up as far as you want. God, this section sucks. Like, I want to be able to touch the top of the screen at least. Let me do that. Make my own mistakes. God! And then you move so slow whenever you're moving down. I'm tilted. You know what? Just kill me. Wow. I can dodge all those attacks by standing still. Wow. Alright, fine. I'll start attacking so that he has more chance of hitting me. Pocky is Luigi, yeah. Like, look, look at this. I'm holding up and I can't move any further than half screen. And for whatever reason, there's a black bar at the bottom. I think that's what's... That, that has to be an emulator thing. I can't see that being like a thing they purposely had for TV. For like the actual console, having a black bar there. Has to be an emulator. And you know what? Another problem with this dragon is that you're actually moving up and down as well. So your your exact position is not always going to be the same when you fight these enemies. Like look, I'm moving up! So it's not really a proper shmup section because you're, you're not moving in the same... Your movements are not precise here. God. <laughs> this is so stupid. Kill me. Oh great, I have to rely on this cat. <laughs> Imagine a shmup where your controls are out of your control every so often. That's this. That's this experience. But you can't even move up and down. On your own. The the game itself will do it for you for no reason. And you meant to dodge all this stuff as well. <laughs> I feel like you could just as easily make it so Pocky had like one-to-one -one movement on this in this area, right? It's very easy. But instead they decide to do it this way. Probably didn't mash hard enough there. I hate the dragon moving up and down. The dragon is tilting me so hard. I'm sorry, this dragon is a POS, in my opinion. It's not even allowing me to. Oh my god.
God, those are so fast. You have to already be dodging it before you even see it. Like dodge now, dodge now. Yeah, exactly. Dodge it, dodge now. Yeah. I was ready for that. Stop spamming that, please. Oh my god. Whatever. Spare shot doesn't even work. some power-ups finally but now I've lost I lost them god hey at least I have my armor Am I going to have to fight a harpy enemy? Oh no, it's uh, you have defeated my brother. Now it's my turn to beat you. I must avenge my brother's demise. Bolta, great name. I don't even think I can beat this guy. Man, dodging stuff would be so much simpler if the dragon wasn't moving. I'm waiting for his next attack. His next attack's gonna destroy me. Hey, I got a life back. That's good. One more chance to not do this level again. I appreciate that. Same attack as usual. Holy crap, that's far. <sighs> Didn't really, really react to that. You have to not react, you have to just like, plan it out. Like he's gonna use it now? Yep. What's he gonna do now? Yep. Okay, that attack. He's not gonna use his uh... Oh! Oh, you can destroy those. I did not know you can destroy those. Okay. Okay, you're not supposed to dodge him. Okay, that's on me, that's on me. You're not supposed to dodge him, you're supposed to destroy them. The, the last boss I fought, Volta, now that makes sense. <laughs> oh, but this time he... Okay, now I understand why they designed the boss to go down lower. But wait! I can't move up to the top screen though, because of this dumb dragon. How am I supposed to avoid that? What? I don't... Huh? I'm not understanding. Oh, you have to go... You have to like, intercept them a little. That's really dumb. Yeah, this is the worst level by far. Easily one of the worst levels. We can finally see the castle. There it is. There it is. Is that the demon castle? What the? Princess Luna is imprisoned in there, isn't she? What is she doing? Dinagon is the Dinagon. It is time for the final battle. Do your best. 
Yeah, it is a good thing it's over. Oh my god! Uh, rescue Rinosuna, you must return. Hello, GA! Welcome to the stream! Thank you for the raid! Hello! How are you doing? I'm assuming that you just uh, finished your ring fit session? Awesome! Hello, thanks for the raid! Yes, okay, good, yeah. I didn't, I didn't, wasn't able to check out your session. I hope you, I hope the exercise wasn't too extraneous. But yeah, welcome. Welcome the new viewers as well. Wow, thank, yeah, again, thank you for the raid. And good thing too that I'm like, uh, doing what could be the last stage in this game, maybe? So Cheer, have you ever played Pocky and Rocky? Have you ever played this game? Oh, uh, oh let me get the robot. I want the robot. I want the robot. Oh crap. Uh, well, whatever. It's a nice exercise. Oh, that's good then. Oh god. Oh, those enemies. Oh, those guys can shoot up as well. This isn't this is a very complicated stage. This is a very complicated stage. I don't know what's going on. Oh, it's the digger. Wait. Wait a second. Right, uh, I never played this actually. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, it's not a very well-known shmup, I think. Yeah, but it, it is basically a shooting game. I just noticed that the digger's attacks... That there's, there's supposed to be attacks that go below the ground and attack, right? But they're actually, appear, they're actually appearing above the beams, the ceiling beams in this area, which is pretty funny. And what platform is this game is on? Oh! Uh, on, a, on SNES, sorry. Hold on, this game is a bit hard. On the SNES, actually. So yeah, I am playing a fairly retro game. Even though I have a bunch of other games that I should probably be, be trying to complete right now. Uh... I'm just celebrating like the new. Um, it's a cool game since it's a shmup without, but without all the scrolling. Well, you just about that. You just missed the last stage where there was all the scrolling, and that was really bad. <laughs> but yes, uh, this is a game where you decide to scroll based on how you want to do it. So yeah, it's really nice. Oh, hello, Kiyoi. Hello. I, mean, I should probably say. There's just a lot of names uh, that I wasn't able to read out all of them. But yeah, hello, welcome to the stream, everybody. I never beat in this go this game though. It's hard. Oh yeah, it, it, it's very hard. I'm sure you could beat this game now because uh, Rift continues. Um, I'm sure it's very doable. If you have infinite continues and you can do whatever you want, basically. Let's grab this mystery box. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Um, this game also, uh, there's a remaster that's coming out for Western audiences. I don't remember what exactly the launch date is. I think it's called Pocky and Rocky Reshrine. And when I discovered about the remaster, that's when I decided to play this game again. Um... So initial release date was 21st of April, but I don't think it released for... I don't know. Uh, yeah, initial release date says 21, 21st of April, so yeah, I don't know. Uh, well, anyway. No problem, have many, many have problems pronouncing it. You can call me Kuyu. Sorry, late to read though. Oh yeah, no problem. So, Kuyu. Alright. Oh yeah. Uh, is that an L or an I? Oh, that's an L. That's I thought it was an I. That's why I said Ku your 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 yeah whatever. Okay yeah, if I can call you Ku you, that's fine. That is very good. I can call you Ku you. Good luck with assignments. Oh yes, good luck with that too. Yeah. yeah. All right, I have an awesome robot here. What does he do? Oh my god, what? Uh, okay. <laughs> that just se Oh, and I even lost my armor. That was- that- That seemed pointless, I'll be honest. 
just call her Fishy? Oh yeah, I guess I guess that's an appropriate name as well. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, uh, oh no! Oh, whoops! I was just being very silly there. I'll be honest. You have to head up through this door. Yeah, this game is a very like uh, it's designed to be like an arcade shoot up, shoot them up, basically. Oh my god. Well, it's good that I died early at least because I needed to get back get back all my lives. I see you're mostly doing retro games. Uh, yes. If you call the Tactics Ogre series and the uh, SMT Nocturne retro games, then yeah, I guess you can call them retro games. I'm mostly doing them, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I guess I tend to stream RPGs, I think. That's, that's been my, my trend thus far. So doing, playing retro games on Saturday is definitely the exception. That's why it has a specific title on its own. Uh, I want the Scarecrow. Uh, speaking of, Nocturne when? Tomorrow. It's also Retro Saturday. Yep. Every Saturday I try to play a game that's uh, a lot more on the older side than the games I usually play. So SNES for example. DOS games even. I, I've played a couple of DOS games and I do try to play games that I've played before a very long time ago. Felix, I need to prepare to go somewhere. I will look around. Yeah, thank you for the raid. I greatly appreciate that. Yeah, have a good game. Yeah, uh, yeah. thanks for the luck. Thank you for the raid. Greatly appreciate it. So yeah, Selfer Sandbox Nocturne will be tomorrow because again, I try to stream SMT on Sundays usually. Uh, oh my god, I got hit there. It was just like last week was a, was a, what's the term? Was extraordinary, I guess? Uh, whatever the word is, like I couldn't do Sunday because I was attending that fighting game tournament. That fighting game stream you're, you're watching, that's, that's why I couldn't play SMT that day. So tomorrow should be good because there's no such tournament. Okay, good. Cool, I look forward to it. Yeah, me too. It's been like, it's basically been two weeks since I've played Nocturne. I'd be, it'd be really fun to get back into it. Hey, did you know that Dinagon has asked Princess Luna to marry him, but she rejected him? He became greatly saddened and lost his mind. <laughs> he lost his mind after getting rejected. He seemed like an entirely different... Oh my god! This guy can't take rejections? That's the main antagonist we're dealing with? What a pity. Uh, which... I guess it doesn't really matter which door, which box I open. I'm gonna open that. Okay, good. Hey, I got a life. Got a life. Yeah. So, uh... Oh, what? I thought this was the way forward. It's hard for me to say this, but the money we gathered for you has been stolen by the enemy. What we can do for you instead is to increase your courage. Huh? A player is added. A life? Oh, I got a 1-up! That's a lot more useful than money. Um, but yes, uh, I do regularly stream RPG games. Uh, sometimes I'll just stream a fighting game just, just because I feel like it. But it has been mostly RPGs because there are a lot more uh, long-form type of streams that I can do. And fighting games, it's kind of hard to play against somebody here in Australia at the time I stream at some, sometimes, so... A player is added. Your console now includes a multi-tap. What's well, a multi-tap? 
bear in mind that uh, whenever I played these games as a kid, I've only ever emulated them. Yeah, I never actually owned the actual console, the actual SNES console. The only consoles I've ever owned um, are the, the Game Boy Color, the Game Boy Advance, the Nintendo DS, and those were the only ones I really owned. And you notice the trend that they're all uh, handheld devices. <laughs> I mean, nowadays, now I have a Switch and a 3DS. I mean, 3DS is all last gen now, but you know what I mean. I, I can get other consoles now, but as a kid, I only had access to handhelds. The accessory that allows a console to support four controllers instead of two. What games support four controllers? Would you know, Orsilin? Uh, what's a four player? Oh, Bomberman! Bomber of course, Bomberman. I've played Bomberman. Did let me experience Chrono Trigger because since they never released a game in Europe. Wow, they didn't release it in Europe? Well, I'm glad you managed to experience Chrono Trigger. Chrono Trigger is an amazing game. That's awesome. Emulation's awesome, is what I'm saying. Are you Pocky? It will soon be the era of Dinagon. It will be a great era, so forget about Princess Luna. Oh, those guys cut the crap out of me. Cut me in half, basically. Oh, okay, good. Have to be on the lookout for those ninjas. <laughs> How did I not get hit there? Uh, I don't have a key. I might decide to play Bomberman on Saturday. I mean, I have before. I played Neo Bomberman, which is a Bomberman game available on Neo Geo consoles. Pretty fun Bomberman game because there's the characters that you can play in that game had special abilities. Definitely predated Super Bomberman R. I have an AV switcher multi tap combo for my PS2. It increases the controller count to a total of 5. What would you need 5 controllers for? There's no game that supports that, right? Meanwhile, people in the US experience never experience. Terra Enigma, since they never released that game in US for whatever reason. Wow, that was never US released? I uh, I didn't even know that, to be honest. I played Terra Enigma thanks to emulators as well. Awesome game too. I might decide to play that even, but... Uh, yeah, it'll be a long time. I don't know. Terra Enigma is a very long game. Uh, so it's not very well suited for a Saturday format where Arcade games work best. Bombastic supports up to five players. I don't even know what that game is. Let's look at that. Let's look it up. Uh... Bombastic. Is it a Bomberman game? So I'm putting the gameplay on the hole to look this up. What is this game? Oh god, wait, uh, crap. Gotta stop my music. It's just a puzzle game, basically? Is this... Oh, this is weird. I don't even know what's going on. Oh, bombs? So the, the dice, the number on the die is the bomb length? So three, right? So it's gonna go up to three squares. It looked like it got, uh, went up to three squares. Maybe it's just a combo thing, though. Seems like a seems like a good puzzle game. I don't know if it's fun. I have no idea yet. Hmm. Yeah, seems like a fun enough game. Uh, okay, I'm gonna swap back. Oh no, you're seeing what's behind the, the screen there. Okay, yeah, the video was still playing actually. Seems a bit dicey. Yeah, I get it. I get that joke. That's a good joke. 
to be honest, this is the first time I've seen gameplay of it despite owning it. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't see how it supports five players, but then again, it could be another mode, another uh, game mode. So I don't know. Anyway, I'm amazed that you have made it to the demon castle. My master is now seeking revenge for having been spurned. Pocky, please turn Dinagon back to himself again. I beg of you. Please use this money to equip yourself. I literally only remember it because it caps at five players. Yeah, I guess that is a very memorable thing. A game supporting five players in the PS2 era. Definitely memorable. Oh god! Oh, uh, uh, And is this- oh, that's just nothing. I thought that was going to be a store. These ninjas are kind of scary, I'll be honest. Because they- see, it seems like they just appear out of nowhere. They don't have to necessarily appear from behind a screen door or anything like that. I've seen games that support max of four players and even six players. Five though? Bombastic is the only one I've seen. Yeah, five is a weird number, for sure. I mean... I guess, I guess games supporting a large player number would not be unusual in PS2, actually. I don't know. It's, it just seems unusual to me. I think I can jump over these, actually. I cannot. That is so useless. I think the the huge guy was the best partner overall. Okay. Okay, good, good, good. Oh, we got an extra life. That's a, that's actually a really good life we got there. Having max lives for this boss, upcoming boss, is really good. The music is nice and comfy. I mean, that's all you really need in a game like this. Oh, okay, good. Uh, was there a key available in that store, actually? I don't think there was, actually. So I guess I'm fine there. If there was a key, then damn. I would have been able to unlock that treasure chest. Is this the way forward? I am actually wanted to explore a bit more to the left. Boss time? Dinagon? Uh... Oh, Impy! Super Slime Arena on PC supports 50 players on the same... on one computer? Really? You have finally arrived here, Pocky. I admit you are the strongest. However, you can't go any further unless you defeat me. Locally? Yes. Wow. I can't even imagine how that looks. Be prepared. It had to be something like swapping the controllers around. It has to involve something like that, surely. Uh, you can't deflect that. I wanted to see if you could. Oh, okay. Now I know what kind of attacks this guy does. Look at that slowdown. That's awesome. Oh, I wanted to. Uh, whatever. Well, I, de I deserve dying there. Is that one button game? Oh, that is a potential. Potentially, yeah. That's the only, only way that could make sense, I guess. Okay, just focus on dodging here, I guess. God damn it. I missed my bomb. So how bombs work in this game is that you actually chuck your partner at the boss and they do a massive attack. Yeah, it's a bit weird, honestly. And it makes this game even worse for co-op because in 
Could you imagine if you're playing this game by co-op? Oh my god, that's hard to avoid. And suddenly the first player, the person who's playing as Pocky, decides to throw you at the boss, denying you access to play the game. That's that's the experience playing this game in two-player mode. It's a bad experience, I tell you. I tell you that much. Um, yes. Because I have played this game with my family before. And playing the game with that kind of mechanic was very toxic. Very toxic times to be had when I played it like that. Oh wow. Easy. It's a game suited for a turbo controller. Oh what? Huh? Oh. I thought something happened there. Uh, let's check out what that game or a certain link is. Use nearly any controller in fast and frantic 2 to 50 plus multiplayer matches across the many lands, the many lands of planet Blorb. I don't even understand how you, how do you even play it? Enter arena using nearly any controller from retro to modern fight sticks or flight sticks, plastic guitars, and bongos. We don't put any limits on the number or type of controllers you can use, as long as they have enough inputs and the game supports as many players as you have controllers for, both local and online. So each... So it's one controller each player, I guess. Better than the original, where you can dodge roll into each other sliding around wildly. Yeah, I guess so, you're right. But still, it's still a really annoying mechanic that doesn't need to be there. I looked at the Steam page and I still don't understand. I'm always down for HOTUS support though. There's no way HOTUS support, HOTAS support is going to be for Super Slime Arena. There's no way. Uh, I lost. Pocky, you really are strong. As promised, you can go now, but you must come back. I am the one who will defeat you, so don't lose two of them. Next time, I will be, I will be much stronger, and I will win. There's no way there's going to be force feedback in Super Slime Arena. Each slime type has its own unique attack type. That's it. It did say flight sticks, didn't it? Yeah, it did, but. There's no way force feedback is going to be in a game like that. As many players as you have controllers and USB ports. I guess I guess USB ports is the thing. I guess you got to have a you definitely have to have a hub for that, right? For that for that kind of game. Uh, I do have to focus a little here. Okay, don't, I don't have to focus that hard. I'm, I'm past the point of focusing now. Hey, I got full armor. That's nice of the game. Boss time. Boss time. My whole task has more than enough buttons. Oh yeah, I'm, any, I feel like any modern flight stick nowadays will have enough buttons. More than three, <laughs> that's for sure. I should set it up at evac. Uh, maybe, yeah. <laughs> Before you talk to me, you better think about who you're talking to. If you don't understand, you are not worthy to be alive. I will eliminate you. Dynagon. Why is his name Dynagon? Is that a joke I'm missing out on? Hup. Okay, good. Oh, he's using a sword. He's got a sword! Oh. What the hell? Can you hit that? Oh, you can. Okay, it's better to use a magic card against... I don't know. That was really confusing. Oh god. I tried to use a bomb! Ah. Uh. 
I should okay, I actually do need to focus here. God. Oh okay, thank god I didn't get hit there. Use your sword, use your sword attack. God, why don't I just avoid the sword attack and then move to attack it? Like this. Like just move like this and then you can just like target it forever. Oh, I got a life back. That's nice. Very useful. Okay, I'm waiting for the sword attack. And then, and then. God, too close. He got that sword back instantly. I thought it would travel back to him like it did before. Okay, don't be in the top screen. Now I know. Wow, can you deflect us? Every attack seems to be hard to avoid. You can't deflect those. Use your sword. I looked up Dynagon with started with sports trading card results. Okay. So nothing basically. No no joke to be had, it's just a name. Why am I moving at the top again? <sighs> I can't believe I avoided that, I'll be honest. life back wow very nice of the game to give me that life very nice i don't deserve this generosity yes is there a second phase i'd be very surprised if there wasn't i'll be honest Just wave your stick in front of them. That would do the that would definitely do the job. What? Was he just an evil spirit or he wasn't possessed or anything like that? I did it! I guess it wasn't a second phase. Easy. Easy game. GG's. Yeah, it looks like it's GG's. The spell, I so what is that? Two hours and 51 minutes? Two, about an hour shorter than my playthrough of Pocky 1, was removed by Pocky's magic cards. Dinagon then returns to his original size and regains consciousness. Princess Luna, how can I ever apologize enough? I don't have any right to blame you. I'm afraid to press any button in case it will skip. Princess Luna, it's about time to leave. That's right, we have to celebrate the harvest. Then we will see you at the festival. Oh, festival, full stop. Guess she wasn't asking a question there. You made it back. Where's Princess Luna? She will join us later at the at the festival. 
I see. Then let's go back first. Sounds good. I'm so hungry. I could eat an Octorok. I feel faint. Or was it a Dodongo? Come on, you're always eating. Pocky and her friends leave, uh, leave the demon castle and Pocky says goodbye to the friends she has met, to the friends she has made along the way. Pocky sends her new friends off with a smile. Pocky and her partners then go back to the village. Go back to the village. Oh, the text is just moving so slowly that I I just make I just make incorrect conclusions on in how I think the sentence will end. It has become dark and a beautiful moon is in the sky. Pocky and her partners climb on Gordon's back. <laughs> I, I love how his name is Gordon and fly across the night sky. I like how the villains of... Well, okay, the, a nice breeze envelops their bodies, making them forget their perilous adventures. Oh, adventure. I guess it is a singular adventure. After returning to the village, the festival begins anew. And for sure, the festival will be even better than better this time around. <laughs> the tale of Pocky and her friends will continue to be told by the village villagers <laughs> throughout the ages to come. That's pretty final. Where they, I guess they were anticipating this to be the last game in the Pocky and Rocky series. It basically is. Pocky and Rocky with Becky doesn't really count. I mean, I guess it does, but it's, that's a very weird game. So the villain in this game was some guy who kidnapped the princess, who kidnapped Princess Luna. And then he went crazy from getting rejected. That's a that's an awesome villain, if you ask me. Oh no, they're using nicknames for the credits. I thought we were past that. Didn't they use real names in the first game? I felt like they used real names in the first game for the credits. Is Shin Chang a real name? I'm ashamed to admit that I just now noticed a pile of Pocky on the sidebar. Well, that's the goal, that you notice it later. That is definitely the goal. It was just like a... It was like... Don K Yamashida... I mean, the names with the initial and then the last name, they seem real enough to me. That seems, that seems like a real name. Goblin design and art. If you notice, whatever they call yokai in this game, they call it goblins in their localization. It worked, I love it, yeah. The, the deep psychological messages of Pocky and Rocky, yes, yeah, super deep. I feel like you could just put a Toho plot in Pocky and Rocky and it wouldn't phase anybody. It would just, it would work perfectly. Like, the idea of how I think Reimu just, like, complains a lot in her adventure. That's, that's, that's just my idea of Reimu. She complains a lot. And I feel like you could easily do that for Pocky here. But yes, the Pocky on the sidebar, um... If it wasn't there for Pocky and Rocky 1, if you go back to it. It wasn't there back... Oh, Tomo! Tomo is a, um... Is a fighting game player here in, um... Uh, in Australia, and he has the name Tomo in our Discord. In our Australian fighting game Discord. I mean, Tomo is a very common name, sort of. Very common handle for whatever reason, so... Shouldn't be that surprised. 
Michael Morby. Wait, Mike Mike Morby because that wasn't an E. That was a C. At the end, that was not an E. There wasn't a line in between the thing to indicate it was an E. It looked really weird. Natsume, and they trademarked the term serious fun. Is that, is that a real trademark? No way that's real. Oh, is this one of this, the, the screens where you have to turn off the console? Yeah, it is. Well, the game... Look, I did game over a couple of times and I did use up continues. But the game is notably a lot easier than Pocky 1. Uh, I guess from a pure quality, quality of life standpoint, with the clothing, uh, with how the power-ups work, and the different partners uh, being the bombs, and like each partner having like a different style, I guess. Uh, I think I do prefer Pocky 2 over Pocky 1. Um, I feel like Pocky 1, if it had like a few minor changes, Stuff like, um, what minor changes? Uh, like if your slide had some iframes, if your slide didn't affect the second player, then I feel like I would prefer that game instead over Pocky 2. Like, I guess that's what I mean by a minor change. Like, I, I don't know if I want the game to be easier. I think the difficulty is kind of okay. For a shmup, that is. Um, having iframes on the slide would make it easier, but... Yeah, just that, just adding that one thing, I think, would improve the game a lot. Um, but yeah, as it stands right now, I think Pocky 2 is a better game. Just looked at my copy of River King under Natsume, it says Serious Fun. Yeah, they trademark Serious Fun for whatever reason, because that's their motto, I guess. The co-op speedrun uses the slide interaction to murder things fast. Ah, okay. I've only seen the single player speedrun thus far. Um, and they use Rocky, and they use his OP bombs. That's what I, that's what I remember. So, yeah, that's it for Pocky 2. Um, before I leave off, I'm actually going to check out Pocky and Rocky Reshrined. Uh, not the review. I just want to see... I guess I can check out the trailer. Did I check out the trailer before on stream? Not on stream, I guess. Yeah, I've checked it out before. River King is a PS2 game, so they're, they really are serious about their fun. Well, maybe they should... Maybe fun includes a difficulty setting. <laughs> Pocket and Rocky's not Dark Souls. But they still have that trademark. Did you see that? Look at that. They still have the serious fun. Is that... um, What's the R stand for? Restricted? Uh, I don't remember what the R stands for. Uh, is it restricted? I don't know. It can't be restricted. Registered trademark. Oh, right. Okay. Complicating it. I was overcomplicating it. Yeah. Licensed by Taito. Look at that. Look at this Pocky over here. This looks like an awesome game. I want to try. I want to play this game for sure. It's a bit loud. Oh, you even have your fireballs back. That's cool. Wow, look at the 60 FPS gameplay. I'm not even used to this anymore. anymore. 60 FPS Pocky and Rocky? Looks really cool. The pixel art is very adorable as well, which is what you want to go for for this game, right? So yeah, it looks pretty cool. Wow, you can even see the boob jiggles in the sprite. Did you see that? 
Oh, look at this. Totally different gameplay. Wow, basically it is different gameplay. Look at that. Ikazuchi. Furry Pocky. I'm sure somebody's into this. A monster weasel. Whoa, she has a beam? Wow, look at... This game, this, I want to play this game already. I wish it was out on PC. And look at this. Melee focused Pocky and Rocky. This is awesome. Holy crap, that's a buff Kappa. That's a, that was an insanely buff Kappa. Wow, look at your crappy talismans there, yeah. So they, yeah, they brought back the power-ups from 1. Hopefully, hopefully they don't have the bomb mechanic in 2. I think, I think uh, not having that is a good idea. Because Uchi means lightning after all. Yeah, I guess so. But I'm not sure how that applies to... How, how does being a weasel give you lightning powers is my question. Oh, they even animated this boss a lot more. That's fun. Yeah, available on PS4 and Switch. So yeah, definitely want to play this game, but it's not going to be available on uh, PC for any time soon. Looks like they actually care about this series. Well, you say that, but uh, if you go to like um, Hockey... Uh, you can say they care about the game, the remaster, but as for the series, I don't know. Because look at this. Pocky and Rocky 2, Pocky and Rocky with Becky, and then 21 years later is the new remaster. Or well, not even remaster, it's basically a game on its own. It's a remake. I don't know if I would even call it a remake. It's a new game, basically. It's a new game. You can call it a new game. But yeah, 21 years later is when they decided to make a new game in this series. So I don't know if they actually care, but I'm glad they're caring about this game now. I thought this was coming to PC. I thought so too, but I don't, it hasn't said anything about, uh, It hasn't said anything about being released on PC. And I don't think uh, Steam has a... Um, I don't think Steam has this as a page for it yet. Yeah. What is this? Oh, is this the Wii game? Ah, oh, it is. This is the Wii game that was supposed to be a Pocky and Rocky game. Uh, but something something happened. Like Natsume didn't want to give them the license or whatever. Uh, yep, Starfish SD got the license from Taito to make a sequel to an arcade game made by them called Kiki Kai Kai. Yeah, this guy has the idea. I knew it. I'd rather wait, uh, rather a long wait for a good game as opposed to the dumpster fight they threw Harvest Moon in. Yeah, I mean, I've only played... The Harvest Moon games I only really played back then was the GBA one, Friends of Mineral Town. Hard to say if I even played through the console games. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. But I remember Harvest Moon on the DS being pretty lacking, unless it was... Unless it was Friends of Mineral Town on DS. But the other games were not as good, I remember. Story of Seasons, The Real Harvest Moon, since Natsume wouldn't let the developers keep the name. Yeah, I know about that story. And yes, good thing there is Rune Factory. Rune Factory is the better Harvest Moon. <laughs> better than the, the recent Story of Seasons games. Speaking of that game, guess what I have? Oh wait, do I not have it? Oh, I thought I had Story of Seasons on PC, but I have it on Switch. I have the, uh, the Friends of Mineral Town uh, on Switch that has a Story of Season. I won't even touch modern Harvest Moon games. I don't even know what they're doing at this moment, so yeah. 
Oh yeah, check out what I have. I've got Persona 4 AU. Arena Automax. It's a pretty fun game. Except there's no rollback, so I'm not even playing online. Wish I could. But I don't even want to attempt without rollback. Um anyway, yeah. This new game looks like it's a lot of fun. Like somebody has already have somebody's already played the game. Look. They've got story mode, no death clear. Insert Aria of the Soul here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that song too. I've been meaning to pick up some of the newest Story of Seasons games, but I haven't seen the genre lately. Yeah, I think even, even then, I feel like you're better off going for the spin-offs. So Rune Factory. Um, uh, Stardew Valley. Uh... There was another one that I forgot. My time in sand thing. It's like my time in something. It's a sequel to my time in Porsche. And that's an okay Harvest Moon game. Hi, well, ish game. So yeah, if you're looking for those kind of genres, then I feel like indie is still your better bet. The Story of Seasons games is still a bit, it's still a bit jank, even if they're made by the original developers. I don't, I'm not going to watch through the whole gameplay, but yeah, this is like, oh, they have the slide. I wonder if that actually has info. If it has info, it's the best game ever. <laughs> I've played Rune Factory, but didn't scratch the same itch. Good series though. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, I maybe you're just tired of the genre? I don't know. Oh my god, they kept the screen so scrolling the same. Are you, they just hide the top from the top from you again. Oh, you have a life bar. That's interesting. Yeah, everything's just a lot more animated. It's like, what this game is, is like, what you thought Pocky and Rocky was, but for real this time. I've been very JRPG focused for a couple of years now, yeah. I feel like I'm the same way too, but I've, I feel like that's only because I've been playing through the entire Tactics series. I feel like that's the only reason. Ugh. This game seems like it's a lot of fun. Why isn't he picking up the chest on the right? Oh! What? I definitely would have been surprised if I got to this boss the first time. Oh, the music's kind of hype as well. Seems like a cool game. Yeah. Awesome. April 22nd. Yeah, this is a uh, this game. Uh, me finding about this game is why I started to play Pokemon Rocky. Uh, one and two this last week and this week, so yeah, good series. Seems like the logical next step. Yeah, make the make this game stand out from one and two. Okay, um, so that's it for today's stream. Uh. Yeah, three hours. So tomorrow is going to be SMT3 Nocturne. Um, and I'm planning on having that be a long stream. Probably past five minutes. Past five minutes. Holy sh... Yeah, my stream is definitely going to go past five minutes. Get that through your head. It's going to get past five minutes. No, it's going to be past five hours. 
Um, ho hopefully, that's what I'm aiming for. Um, I hope it. I, I'd hope it goes longer than five minutes. I'd hope so too. Um, so yeah, that's that's gonna be fun. Uh, so and then the what the rest of the weekdays, whenever I can stream, which will be on the Monday even, will be me playing Tactics Ogre, the Knight of Lotus. Uh, I did grind a couple for a couple of um, minutes in the, the Knight of Lotus. So any future battle that I have to encounter in that game will probably be on the easier side. I also found a good way to get money in that game as well so yeah it shouldn't be too bad for the playthroughs in the weekdays and then i actually have an idea of what game i want to play next week uh and you and you'll find out next week stay tuned for next week on the on the retro saturday it's not gonna be another arcade game i that's that's the only clue you're ever gonna get also, we're out of Puzzle Boy content. Also, Ray Fiery. Oh, is he streaming right now? Let's, let's raid him. What's he playing? I, I'm i very glad we're out of Puzzle Boy content, by the way. I don't want to go through that again. <laughs> if I wanted to go through that again, I would just play Pocky and Rocky. I, not Pocky and Rocky. I would just want to play... I would just play through Baba is You. Uh... Nice wallpaper. Yeah, it's from Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, fire. What's he playing right now? Oh, he's playing Shmups. Drain. Ooh, I don't even know what that is. That's that's just let's just raid him. Whatever. He's playing a shmup, so yeah. I definitely want to find out what this shmup is. Also, he's a VTuber. <laughs> I I think he said something about being a VTuber, or whatever, on the Discord. Anyway. My wallpaper is a NASA picture of the sun. Oh yeah, I, I mean, those pictures are amazing to look at. The NASA website is kind of amazing to look through. I, I encourage anyone to look through that. Just, just like for pure curiosity. Anyway, thank you for watching. And thank you, Chie, for the raid. Thank you, everyone who uh, stay, tuned, uh, stay tuned for the entire stream. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Hopefully I'll see you later. Bye-bye. The past was great and all, but you've never seen anyone like my girl Naomi, my guy Mbappe, the Greek dream, a thing, point guard queen, Haisa, Chen Yi, Sky, or Chloe Kim. Do you know about Raylan and her skill? Oh, just wait, because you will. Have you seen someone ball like John Moran? You know you can't. Dirty laundry, how they all in here. Dirty laundry, sit in silence. Ah. I'm from back of the shed, I'm like, I'm leaving the areas, dragging it back. Like the old saying goes, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. Oh, doesn't work. Sorry, feeling hell. Hell, my my 8 bit do controller is is completely stuck on sinking, and it won't stop sinking. I give up. I'm gonna go find my team. No, it, it, it just, I hold the sync button, it doesn't even restart. Check it out, my sword's it pretty cool. It just tries to like, sync again, to nothing existing, it's just flashing the whole time. I hold the sync for 10 seconds, it doesn't fix it. Okay. Funnily enough, I plug in my PSP controller and it completely works. I just need to, I just need to make sure, in wide mode. I just need to make sure I don't nudge the cable in the right wrong way and make it break. Oh, I hate PC gaming sometimes. But it works. Everything is okay. Now I can actually finally get around to playing this. Alright. Hey. Well, uh... 
I'm at it. Yo, shout out. I think I'm playing some Fucky Rocky. So I hope that game's been well. Was it the um the recent remaster one that they released? Uh, that's why I need to get it when it comes out. I don't know if it's out yet. I know the um the Japanese version's out, but wait, why is missile on the same button? Oh no! <laughs> Oh gosh. Oh my god. I just like look at these default buttons. Missile? Confirm wait. That's not the pause menu, is it? Okay, start. Uh right, okay, no no. I think it's this one. Missile and main shot being on the same button. Might be okay. Alright, let's get into this. Alright, what kind of funky mechanic does this game have? Well, pretty drained. Hmm, <sighs> what's so different about it? Is that- is it the thing that's hovering behind me? Like, it, it probably is my controller firmware or something. All I know is that, like, I, I've just been getting so frustrated with every single controller. I binged and bought a, um, Xbox controller. DS4 controllers, the ports always break, so they're dreadful. Uh, my 8-bit do controller is just hell. On when I try and switch between, like, Switch and other things, it just... And I don't know, when I put it on X input mode, sometimes the, the inputs just get jumbled. God knows why. So I, I've, I've just like lost it. So I've just splurged and bought an Xbox controller. So I'm just waiting for that one to arrive. Oh yeah, not all of my PS4 controllers work either. My, like, my, some of my DualShock 4 ones refuse to connect. Great. I gotta plug it in, it's just like, nah, nah. Alright. Hang on. Oh, wait. Isn't this just like Darius? You absorb the beam and you get the counter? Oh, now I have double and wide shot? Yeah, handsome thieves. Yeah, I guess this is very old. It doesn't seem out there. Oh no, are we the ones that stole the drainers? Aha, uh -huh. we're the rebels. I 
That's cool. Alright, let's get into this game. Are we the bad guys? Are we the baddies? <laughs> We're a frog. I am not good at horizontal shooters. Oh no! So you just gotta watch out for things that uh, have the red outline. Oh, it's cool though. It's like pod racing. Oh wow, you don't lose um, guard bar based on what you absorb, it's just straight up duration. That's cool. Out of my way! Wait, I have um, two of them now, so I can like enhance functions, right? Got some bits, rolling bits. Trace. Oh, I love me some trace. I, I think. Wait, how many do I have? I thought I had two. Wait, do I already have? I only have two. Oh my gosh! It's a sand rat. Oh my! It actually is a sand rat. It's a robot sand rat. Charging with electricity! Alright, we're gonna get the sand rat. Oh wait, no, 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 god, those are physical. They're red. We gotta avoid them. Oh, you have recovering HP. Yeah, this is definitely like... Got nasty chronicle feels. Nasty Chronicles. What a game that one was. If I, I, I did prefer Ginga Pulse more. Oh, we got it. Stand right down. Cool. Oh my god, I'm still streaming. <laughs> 